Road to GH will reveal the unexpected death of Sam, which left her family and friends in profound grief. No one can believe she is truly gone. What adds to everyone's confusion is the strange turn in Sam's health just before her passing. Previously, she had undergone a liver transplant surgery to save Lulu. Despite the challenges, she quickly recovered, bringing hope to her loved ones. She even reassured her doctors and friends with a smile, saying she felt fine and everything would be okay. Yet not long after, Sam's condition suddenly worsened, leaving her critically ill in a way the doctors could not fully explain. This raised the question, could something have gone wrong in Sam's recovery? Was it a rare medical complication, or was something more sinister preventing her recovery? Many of Sam's loved ones, especially Dante and Lulu, felt that something was amiss. They began suspecting interference from some external force, especially with Cyrus's recent shady actions at the hospital. The thought that Sam might have faced danger while lying in her hospital bed filled everyone with even more pain and anger. Amid the sorrow, a haunting clue emerged, although no one wanted to believe this harsh truth. Just before Sam passed, her mother, Alexis, had visited her, bringing a special box of candies as a gift. Alexis mentioned to Sam that these were delicious treats, available only for Halloween, hoping it would cheer her daughter up during her tough recovery. The two shared warm moments, reminiscing about past Halloween seasons. Tragically, it was also the last time they were together. Shortly after Alexis left, Sam's condition took a sudden turn for the worse, and in an instant, she was gone, leaving her family and friends devastated. They began inspecting everything in Sam's hospital room, trying to understand what could have turned her from a recovering patient into someone on the brink of death. The box of candies from Alexis, a simple token of joy between mother and daughter, became the only remaining detail. Although there was no concrete evidence, Sam's passing immediately after receiving the candies from her mother stirred growing suspicion among her loved ones. They wondered if there could be something wrong with the candies, even if it was painful to consider. For Alexis, this suspicion was a crushing blow, sending her into deep guilt and torment, fearing that she had unknowingly brought something harmful to Sam. The Halloween candies, once a sweet gesture, became a heartbreaking clue that no one dared to face, remaining as a dark reminder of Sam's mysterious passing. The thought that the candies might have inadvertently led to Sam's death weighed heavily on everyone's hearts, but perhaps none more than Alexis. She had always thought the box was just a small gift, a loving gesture to comfort her daughter in tough times. Now, however, the thought that someone might have tampered with the candies, or worse, that an ingredient in them could have caused a severe allergic reaction in Sam, shattered Alexis completely. In the grieving mother's heart, the torment grew with each passing day. If the candies truly were the cause of Sam's demise, then Alexis, even unintentionally, had been the bearer of her daughter's misfortune. She couldn't stop asking herself if she could have done something to prevent this tragedy, or if a bit more caution might have kept Sam alive. The memories of her daughter happily accepting the box, the joy in Sam's eyes as she enjoyed the treats, now became an indelible, haunting pain. Alexis tormented herself, blaming herself for failing to protect Sam, for letting what seemed like a small act bring about such a devastating outcome. Every memory of Sam only deepened her sorrow and guilt, making it impossible for Alexis to forgive herself. To her, losing Sam wasn't just the loss of a beloved daughter, it was a wound that would never heal, as she would forever feel at fault for Sam's death. It's something no one would ever want. After all, no mother in the world wishes to harm her child. Yet, Alexis's trial became a cruel reality when the autopsy report confirmed that Sam had died from the very candies her mother brought. The shock hit not only Alexis, but also devastated all who had trusted unconditionally in her love for Sam. The discovery of poison in the candies turned every shred of hope into grim reality, and the image of Alexis bowing her head in court, silently weeping in despair, left an indescribable sense of pain. For her, losing Sam was already an unbearable ordeal, but being accused of such a crime was even worse. The feeling that the Halloween gift meant to console her daughter had directly taken Sam's life, tore her heart apart. This sentence was not only the end of one life, but the destruction of a mother's love and trust. 
Alexis now had to live with the torment, wondering if someone had deliberately exploited her innocence to cause Sam's death. But whether there was an explanation or not, whether she could prove her innocence or not, Alexis could never escape the haunting grief of her loss. The candies, once a symbol of love and warm memories, had become the emblem of a tragedy, a painful testament to the harsh fate a mother must bear. Thank you.